Today we're going to do a quick video because I wanted to. It's my channel. What are you going to do about it? Watch it, I guess. Uh, we're going to use back tap on the iPhone, and we're going to use a shortcut to enter a note into our Zettelkasten really quick. Buckle up. So back tap, tap back. You can find that in settings under accessibility. And then we find it under touch and back tap right here on. And I have it set to triple tap is new idea. Double tap is nothing at this point. I guess I don't have anything for that. New idea is the shortcut. So let's do it. So I'm just go. There you go. New idea. My idea. File name. Oh, file. Let's see if I can type name. Done. And where do I save it? I'm going to save it into my Obsidian Vault. That's it. We've got our new idea. If I open up one writer, so I have my new one, and it's automatically tagged as a writing idea. Most times when I have this, it's going to be a writing idea. If you hear some extra noise today, we have our friend's dog who is hanging out with me in the office. So that is the caller. Now, how does this work? Let's bring up shortcuts and work through the shortcut for you. So maybe you can do this yourself. I actually struggled for sure with the renaming bit, which is really why I did it. I actually stole part of the shortcut you can see here from Christopher Lawley. And I totally gutted it and it's nothing like him, but he has a bunch of good shortcuts. I'll link to his recent video up here on the 21 shortcuts that he found was really useful because um, that was a really good one. And I actually stole this and then I totally modified it. It's nothing like what he had, but this is what I had. The first thing it does is ask for text. You saw that where I put in my idea. It's going to take the text and put it in a text field uh, and then tag it with writing idea. So I could add other things in here if I wanted to as well. And then I can also tag it myself in the text field and that'll show up in there. Next up, we're going to go current date because I want to build my Zettelcast and I use a suffix. Most people use a prefix. So I use a suffix, really. Uh, and then I'm going to format the current date. And this is where we get into custom. So if you search up iPad uh, or shortcuts custom date formats, you'll get to a page and you can actually go read the documentation on the page. So this says double D is day, double M is month, e, month um, number numerical, uh, four Ys is year numerical, double H is 24 hour time, or double capital H, and double small M is uh, minutes. And then we're going to ask for text. This is the name, so we can come up with a file name because I want to be able to name it something I know and not just the first line of text. And then here's where we get to the tricky part, or at least the part that I found tricky at first. Um, the next thing you need to do is do set name of text. So we're setting name of our text, and that's this thing up here. This block right here is text. To file name, and then we added our formatted date. So file name was my scripting element right here, and formatted date was this element right here with the custom date in it. And then we're going to save our renamed item. And that's it. Unfortunately, the only thing I can do um, if I want to automatically save it is to save it to the shortcuts folder, which I don't want. So I'm just gonna have it ask me every time right now, and then I can move on with it. That's it. It's a quick way to get ideas into my Zettelkasten from wherever I am. If I have a writing idea, a thinking idea, if I'm hitting a podcast, something like that, I can like pop it out. Um, triple tap on the back, and then I can get right into something. And you can run any shortcut you want, really, um, in there, any action you want with your triple tap or your double tap, depending on what suits your needs. That's it. If you like the video, you can go below, hit the thumbs up, and that just tells YouTube you like the video because you liked it. If you really loved it, then you can go hit subscribe and the bell, and maybe possibly YouTube will let you know when a new video comes out. But hey, it's an algorithm, it's YouTube, so who actually knows? And if you really love the content, the things I'm putting out, then you can go to two spots. You can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare. Take my course on Tick Tick, watch my upcoming course on time blocking, and watch my upcoming course on Things 3, parts of which you'll see coming out over the next while. Have an excellent day.